Hi, I'm Lori, Lori Michael Fitness, specializing in senior fitness in the home. Over the next couple of months is going to be a series of exercises with the help of my friend Kim, who is going to be filming on different planes of motion for our shoulders. So what does that mean in English? It means different directions that mimic life. So for instance, if you want to play ball with a grandchild or your son or so forth, you're going to be throwing. Okay, so that's one example. Or how about you're going to push things up on a shelf? Or you're going to hold your grandchild or your baby, whatever the case may be. So with the help of my friend Kim, as I said, we're going to do some of those exercises. And here we go. Okay, we're going to start with motion in what we call the sagittal plane. That's motion forward and back from your torso. Forward is called your anterior motion and backward is your posterior. So let's start with the posterior. Lori's going to grab a light weight. She's going to use a counter, in this case a bar, but bathroom, kitchen, just a countertop. The leg that's underneath the arm, you're going to use steps back, your front knee bends, and then put weight on your forearm on the bar so it's supporting your back. The arm hangs straight down. You're just going to lift gently back and forward. So again, that's moving sagittal plane posterior. It's the posterior motion, that backward motion that we're working as you lift against gravity, strengthening the back of your shoulder. A very similar exercise in the same position. Lori's going to pick up a slightly heavier weight and resume the position. This time, you're going to start with a straight arm down. And you're going to bend your elbow, lifting, and back down. So we can go with a heavier weight because the elbow is bending. So it's not as much gravity pulling against the whole arm as just the upper arm. So if you're going to do the bent arm, you pick up a little heavier weight. Okay, that was two motions, two exercises in the posterior motion. Now let's do the front. Pick up, we'll start with two light weights, Lori. And that front motion, just straight arms lifting up, maybe to the height of your shoulder. If you've got shoulder constrictions, just lift up as high as you're pain-free. Let's see that one more time. These exercises, three sets of 10, three sets of eight. Now, a very similar motion of the shoulder, picking up a um, heavier weight because you're going to be doing the same thing where you're going from a bent arm to a straight arm. You're going to bring your arms right in front of your shoulders, parallel arms, bend your elbows, and then push straight up and down. So it's basically the same motion in the shoulder. From there, pressing up, it's a forward motion, your arms are in front of you. One more time, bend, extend, and return. Good. Okay, here's another option if you want to do that same motion on your back. In this direction, you're moving directly against gravity, so it might seem a little bit heavier, but the same movement Lori is just doing standing up, you're lying on a couch, on a bed, and just pressing straight up, parallel to your torso. You can also do straight arms. Arms come down. And it's going to be pretty heavy, so only come up as far as you can handle. And back down. There you go. You get to use your core a little bit too, but that's another subject for another day. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, everybody. And please remember, sign up for my newsletter. Check me out on YouTube. And... I will see you soon.